Hey everyone, welcome back to Tea Time. I am here with the lovely Miss Talia. Um, I apologize for my appearance today. My hair is absolutely ridiculous and crazy. <laughs> um, if you can't tell, we're sort of in a transitional period of the, it taking a little vacation. That's why we weren't here last week. Uh, mm -hmm. Talia is moving, which is exciting. <gasps> so yeah, we, we apologize for the appearance, but we will be okay. Um, Talia, episode seven and eight. Oh my god. This There's was, a lot happening. This is yeah, crazy. Yeah, we finally <laughs> got like the craziness that we've been asking yes. for. Um, you know, I don't think we need to dive into episode 7 too much, but the big take takeaway is Danny's addiction ultimately is the reason that um you know, Mars goes kaput, it goes crazy. There's, there's, yep. you know, people uh, are, are dead. Um, there's an explosion that happens with the rig. And mm -hmm. now you have NASA, the Russians, Helios all working together. Um, it, and it just is, it, it's all his fault, really, it is, you know? It really is. Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. I feel like just from the start of the season, we knew he was, we, I, or at least I got the vibe that it was just going to go downhill from here for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it ultimately did, um, which caused a lot of suffering from other folks yeah and it's 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 sad because like you know it, it sort of seemed like you know this might be a little bit different like okay maybe this time there's not as many deaths and then all of a sudden boom death 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 left death, and right death. is happening yep. and we're like what is going on here um and oh danny and ed get stuck inside of one of the the chambers um mm -hmm. dev dev came up with this really creative idea to go underneath and sort of like almost create like a bomb and explode it yeah uh, which was neat too um and but before we get into any of that we get to learn a little bit about dev's background his history you know why he does things that the way he does i thought that was a nice little moment what did you think yeah i think we feel like for the beginning of the season we kind of saw him maybe more of just like not like a villain but like little he's bit, like yeah, yeah. he's like the outlier from this group he wants to do things his own way and more mm -hmm. out of the box so it might be it might seem like a little eh, hesitant with his ideas right. but i think now we get a better understanding of like where that comes from and maybe yes. you know he's not such a bad bad guy he just wants to do you know certain ways like prove that, his family name and exactly and build a legacy and like exactly you know, he's obviously this in, his inner you know the have a little bit of psych 101 here it's his inner child is just trying to you know prove to his father who's not here mm -hmm. who will never actually get to prove to that he was worthy and, and great exactly. and loved and you see that along amongst a lot of the characters throughout this series is there's always this sort of like trying to prove oneself to someone or something mm -hmm. and you know we see with President uh, Eleanor um, that, or no, President... Eleanor? Eleanor, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I always get like nicknames with her for some reason in my head. I'm like calling her something different every time. But yeah, we <laughs> saw with President uh, Eleanor that, you know, she sort of is trying to prove to her ex-lover. Um, oh, you know, yeah. we mm -hmm. saw that she's trying to prove to her ex-lover, hey, I, I am this progressive person and like this person who's going to be about change. But then you also see like this sort of thing where she's like, uh, it's not that easy. It's not that complicated once you get here. And I think that's sort of something a lot of people realize about politics and, and people is that like it you can only dream to, or want to do something so much. But then it's you have to have a collective sort of people come together. And again, that's the theme of this show, right, is, you know, these groups of different people with different beliefs and ways about going. They have mm. to come together for a common goal. Um, Absolutely. But I really liked those moments with, with her and her ex. I thought that was nice. Um, I thought her husband is a crazy man going off with his little <laughs> affairs. The way he handled that was messy. The way he tried to handle it after was messy. It's just too much, too much. But It is. It's a, it is. <laughs> yeah, that that whole storyline is starting to heat up a little bit. Uh, what do you think? Do you think we're going to see something from President Eleanor? Do you think she's going to come out and make some big legislation for the LGBT community? Do you think that she's sort of going to just try to focus on Mars? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's so many routes that they could go about with, with her plot, like her mm -hmm. storyline. But 
I don't know. I feel like to really stir it up, they might, they might, you know, leak. make it more leak it scandal, mm -hmm. you know, just to keep that going with her, <laughs> with her story. But, yeah. um, I, you know, I could also see her, you know, making some sort of new, new plan, new bill, mm -hmm. and all Policy. that mm -hmm. policies yeah. um, regarding, um, you know, LGBTQ and all that. It so, shows. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think, I think. <laughs> We it like it sort of seems like we might get that sort of happy ending with uh, with President Eleanor where there she does mm -hmm. make change and I think that's what we're all rooting for inside too yeah. because it's like to think that you know society has changed so much but then like we're still so far behind with those issues it just sort of feels like eh like that doesn't feel right with this story you know mm -hmm. um, so I'm definitely like to see that um and then you know in the mix of all this we get a little bit of Kelly and alexi and we found out that they have this romance they're hooking up uh, uh -huh. everyone everyone knows it in the nasa ship <laughs> the russians know about it ed is the only one who doesn't know about it and oh, God. finally when ed meets alexi he's sort of like he's like oh uh i don't know who you're talking about and ed's like of course you russians don't even take the time to know my daughter's <laughs> name <laughs> meanwhile meanwhile they're like legit together um, I know, just, which was that was just like a funny little like earth like moment of like parent being like, you know, protect their daughter sort of thing, mm -hmm. which, was, which was cute. It was a nice little yeah. moment. And, and, I thought and it was it... nice. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no. Keep going. No, I was going to say, and then we got just to see that little moment where Ed, because Ed has had these moments where you're like, oh, and then like you like him again. Like he came yeah. and like gave them food and drinks and things like that. So that was a nice little moment. Um, what were you going to say? No, I was going to say, like, the part where, um, like, he wakes up after being saved and, mm -hmm. you know, obviously he sees, like, Kelly so distraught about yes. Alexi. <laughs> it's just uh. like, well, why is my daughter over there? <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Right. Let me put two and two together. <laughs> yeah, he started putting, it was like, it was, and, and like, credit to um, the actor. Let me get his name. Uh, Joel Kinnaman is his name, who plays Ed Baldwin. Uh, credit to him because he did such a good job where his emotions were like, you know, like, oh my God, I get to see my daughter. And like, you would think Kelly would be running to him like my dad, my dad is saved. But then he's like, what happened? He's like, oh, Alexi didn't, those guys didn't make it. And he's like, I understand, you know, death is difficult for my daughter. She's never experienced this. And then his face sort of changed to be like, this isn't just tears of like, I've lost, you know, a friend, a, a teammate. This is like, distraught like what is going yeah. on over there and, yep. and ed does such a good job the actor does such a good job in those like 60 <sighs> seconds just showcasing like oh wow oh and then he's like it's okay baby it's okay like yeah. the, the casting of those two like i was a little hesitant at first honestly i was like i wasn't sure if the actress um cynthia Wu would be right for kelly if it fit with the family and the mother but like they just do such a good job of like showcasing like this is a family, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think especially pe the people who play like Ed and Kelly, mm -hmm. just their connection in that show, like yeah. you can believe it. Like totally. that's it's there yeah. and like that's and you can see like okay, I can relate to this with like my own parent as well. Yes, exactly. Um, I think they do a really exactly. good job with like just showing that. Yes, totally. I think I think that, you know, and if, if you don't have a parent or something like a guardian, a friend, whatever, like, it just feels like they just showcase this thing, you know? And mm -hmm. um, and, and well, that's what's interesting about this show, too, is there's not a lot, like, they they time jump, right? They skip, but it, you, you could just feel the connections between the characters, and I think that's one of the best parts of it. Um, yeah. Before we jump into the big cliffhanger crazy thing at the end, uh, we got to see a little bit of Danny and Ed mm -hmm. stuck under. They were going back and forth, and Danny <laughs> was trying to help Ed, but at the same time, he hates him. Um, and he and we find out that he sort of blames uh, Ed for the death of his son, um, mm -hmm. Shane, which was, you know, and I think a lot of, like, I, I think he was interested in Karen, but I think that, like, that sort of told me that it was deeper than that. It wasn't just about Karen. He hates him because he also lost his best friend, you know? Mm. And so there's yep. this thing where he loves Karen, but he also lost his best friend, Shane, and he blames Danny. I mean, he blames Ed for both of those things, right? 
Yeah. Um, and he's just a mess, man. Like, as all that's really going on is. and people are dying, it's like, that's what you're thinking about right now. It was, it's really messy. And, like, do the- you, it just feels like they're building up where he's going to reveal, right? He is. This thing he has like, to. <laughs> I just, what do you think's going to happen when that moment comes? Oh, uh. It's it's so hard. I don't know because like they've had so many like opportunities for him to say it. Yeah, like, they're building it up, and I'm sure it's going. I feel like it's just gonna end up being someone else that tells Ed, and not yeah. Danny, because we did see Karen speak with Danny's brother about it. Yes, that is true. Like he he confronted her about it, and you know they had that little conversation about how they feel about space and whatnot but like i feel like that's, oh that's a good that would be such that would be such a tease if they did <laughs> just be like I, like I, some I, random person just tells ed like oh you didn't know like <laughs> right right and i feel like um you know now that someone else knows out there it sort of like has that thing looming and um, and it makes sense too, because I think that, you know, maybe Danny at some point may just be like, I do respect Ed and he's gotten over it. Let's just kind of let it be water under the bridge. But then he finds mm-hmm. out. Um, I thought that he might find out from him just snooping on his emails and things like that. Uh, I'm, I'm curious what you think. Like, what what's going to be the re- re- repercussions of Danny's actions? Because, like, you know, I think that other astronaut is going to be like, yeah, Danny was clearly high on pills. Um, I think Ed knows that they can't really like they're there for another year or so or some other time. So they can't really have him do nothing and they can't really yeah. punish him. But he, this is also sort of all his fault. Right. So mm-hmm. what do you think is going to happen with him? Do you think they're going to ground him? Do you think that uh, he is they're going to just kind of be like, you know, once we get when we get back to Earth, we'll deal with this or. Yeah, I think they have a lot more like stuff going on to be concerned about than Danny if anything you know just don't let him do anything just you know make sure he's not yeah Yeah, exactly and then when he returns back to earth you know give him like a long suspension or something yeah yeah yeah, like that kid that kid I can't you couldn't you couldn't you can't trust him to go back in space like it's no like he you can't he he like killed I mean he didn't like do it on purpose but like he killed so many like on accident yeah. like it yeah just... And, and, and just because he simply wasn't paying attention to his job like you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and then then he turned off the comms which is even crazier you know it's like oh god danny 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 i just and I, i'm curious what they're gonna see that's one of the more things i'm excited to see next week is what happens mm-hmm. with danny there because that was just such a freaking nightmare what he did oh yeah um really unforgivable but before we wrap this video up we have to discuss the final reveal. Oh my God. So after Ed is holding on to Kelly and there's this big emotional thing, we find out that Kelly is pregnant. One of the Russian doctors, I believe, finds out that she's pregnant and they also aren't going to reveal it to to NASA right away. They're going to hold that information and tell the Russians first, which I'm like, oh boy. So then the Russians will be like, you know, hey, this is our this is our astronaut. You know, um, this show does such a good job of always keeping it fresh, always doing something we haven't yeah. seen. Like, now we have a bit the first the first human on Mars will be born, <laughs> and it's a Russian American, and that's the way you have those two to come together. Uh, it's just because, it, like, you know, you look at the past seasons, like they came together for our, for space. Now they literally have to come together, and it's just. Oh, they do yeah. such a good job of they creating do. these unions and teams and you know un- unsuspecting things. But uh, oh, what do you, what what do you think is gonna be the reaction when everyone finds out? Oh my god, there's gonna be so much tension still. Like this is our baby. Like oh, this yes. is the Russian baby. This is the American baby. <laughs> like there's still gonna be a feud, even though you know they have to work together to keep right. this baby survive. Like to survive you know like who knows they don't even have the tools for that right exactly Exactly. i was actually reading like i think nasa has a rule where like the the uh, astronauts can't sleep with each other in space because they're like it just becomes way too complicated Mm -hmm. um and so technically technically they say that no astronaut has ever slept with anyone in space 
we know that can't be true. They definitely have to. They're up there for a long yeah. time. People exactly. get you know, romantically involved and close. So this would be interesting to see how they sort of like um, approach that as well. Uh, mm -hmm. How NASA handles it, how the Russians handle it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see what happens here. Um, I think that episode nine is going to be a, a big time jump. Um, not too big, but I imagine that it's gonna. It has to be some sort of jump. That way, we can make Kelly like kind of have like a bump or showing. Um, yeah. But if they don't, because I think we only have two episodes left, right? It's it's yeah. ten. So mm -hmm. if they don't do that, then we'd have to sort of end the season that way, which would be very crazy and furious. I mean, I, I think I think what we'll see is they're trying to leave Mars, and that's. How, because they all have to be on the same ship at this point too, so then it becomes where do we land? Do we land in NASA in America? Do we land in Russia? Do we land, you know? Uh, do we see the ship? I always forget that they're down like one ship. Like it's down to one ship now to take care of all of them. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, people are dying, so it's like, yeah, we have enough seats, but like, oh my god, oh my god. Um, oh, I was gonna say something and I forgot. Um, uh, Kelly, but, we're talking about Kelly using a pregnancy. I know, I just totally like, forgot. Yeah, you know, it's all oh. right. But, oh, go ahead. No, no, I was going to say, well, it is renewed for another season, so... Thank God. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they will stick on Mars for the beginning of season four. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But that would be interesting to see where, you know, it takes with Kelly and her baby and, you know, if yeah. it actually, if they both survive from that. So it seems that they've been doing these 10 year time jumps every season. Yeah. So that would mean we would finally be in the 2000s, which would be really interesting because uh, we have cell phones and all this other thing and probably vlogs and YouTubes and what we're doing here and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And then, you know, another big plot, too, that we didn't mention is the the astronaut who who came out right like that's gonna be a whole other thing to deal with oh yeah uh, as well too and and who knows I, and that's why i think what was going on with president eleanor we can't sleep on it might be something sort of related to him as well um mm -hmm. but as always for all mankind does such a fantastic job um yeah to you got any final comments i am just excited how they're just gonna end it um i think this show has been doing phenomenal this past season with just yeah. you know keeping you know your attention mm -hmm. on these characters on these stories so i'm just excited how they're gonna end this season off. yeah I'm, I'm super excited myself i can't wait to see what happens um i think we're gonna i think the next episode will be about us getting off of mars and figuring out what how we do that I, this baby thing is now i'm really super invested because i have to know <laughs> like, uh, like a space baby i don't think I'm trying to, the that, only other, the only other like movie or thing I've seen with that is this movie Life with Robert Pattinson where there's a baby uh -huh. and they was like completely unexpected, but like you don't see babies in space too often. That's not something that happens. So no, uh, especially cool. like, it's like, I'm curious, like if they will, you know, with space being so different compared to our, you know, atmosphere, atmosphere. here or yeah, mm -hmm. the atmospheres on each planet are different. So I'm curious yeah. to see if they will play that science behind and mm -hmm. you know, if they will, you know, show us this is what actually yeah. happens when you have a baby in space. Yeah, and, and that's what's cool is <laughs> like for what for all mankind they kind of do this interstellar thing where they show you these hypothetical or fictional situations, uh, but like it's sort of real in, in, in realism. So Super excited. As always, guys, we make new content every single week. So if you're not already subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Make sure you subscribe. I promise we look better than this typically <laughs> <laughs> on a weekly basis. But uh, we're just kind of dealing with the vacation times and, and, and trying to enjoy it a little bit. But make sure you subscribe because we make new content every single week uh, for all mankind. Ladies and gentlemen, fantastic. We'll see you in the next video. See you.